Here's how to make a crinoline petticoat in Clothe 3D. Make a rectangle that is 11.04 by 1.25 inches. Offset as internal line and make the distance 0.91 inches. This should give you 12 segments. Use the fullness point tool and rotate the segments to the left by 0.1. Do the same for the right side. This is important so the crinoline has a bell shape that starts at the waist. Copy and paste the shape. Arrange the waistband on the avatar, so and simulate. Reza. Now make a vertical rectangle that's about 40 inches by 1.25 inches. It should go down to about the ankle length. Offset as internal line and make the distance as individuals. Start at the top and make each progressively farther apart. Be sure there is 1.25 inches between segments. Grab the edit pattern tool and select the side line. Right click and add point to the intersection. This makes segment sewing easier later. Now make 11 more copies of these. Arrange them around the avatar vertically. Segment sew to the waistband. Simulate and freeze. Now make a horizontal rectangle that is 1.25 inches tall by about 25.5 5 inches wide. Offset as internal line and make the distance as individuals. Choose 3 inches for the first value, then 1.25 for the next, and repeat to create the sewing segments for the vertical strips. Don't forget to right click and add point to the intersection. Arrange the strips in the front and back of the crinoline and strengthen. Start sewing from the center, simulate, then freeze. Once both strips are sewn, select them both and set the pressure to about 18 and unfreeze. Simulate, and you'll see this inflates them. Each strip under it will have a lower pressure value. Now let's make the strips for the base. We will use six strips that will stitch together. The reason for this is because using a wide section causes the kernel end to twist during simulation like this. Make your rectangle 24 inches wide by 1.25 inches tall. Offset an internal line at 11.375 and another at 1.25. Right click and add point to intersection. Change the pressure to one, then make five more copies and arrange them around the crinoline and strengthen. Begin sewing each center strip and each end. Unfreeze these strips and then simulate. Continue doing this and occasionally you will need to delete stitching and adjust. Now things get easier. Copy the bottom strip up to the next segment. They should retain their 3D shape. Arrange them around the crinoline and use the edit pattern tool to select the endpoints. Use the keyboard arrows to make each side a little smaller. The goal is that these strips are just a little bigger than the space. Sew each section like you did before freezing and unfreezing as you go.
Copy up more strips to the next layer and edit the size. Start sewing from the center. Copy up more strips to the next layer and edit the size. Start sewing from the center. The pressure drops as you go down the crinoline. The top is 18, then 6, 4, then 1 for the last layers. Make needed adjustments as you go. There will be strips that will twist and get stuck, so be patient and delete, adjust, and re-sew as you go. To add a skirt, make a giant circle and cut a hole in the center. Add concentric internal ellipses and give each of them lots of elasticity. You can hem the bottom or just leave it hanging. Make a waistband that's frozen and sew the internal circle to it. Simulate with low particle distance and choose a fabric that's lightweight. 